Did you feel it? There was another aftershock in New Jersey this morning. Yeah, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, a 2.6 magnitude quake hit below Gladstone just after 7 this morning. Now that follows early April's 4.8 quake that rattled much of the Northeast. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly is in our virtual studio to explain this latest aftershock. Yeah, it's been a lot of movement as of late here in the parts of Central and North Jersey. In fact, take a look at this. What we were doing is we were looking at the total number of aftershocks in and around the area. Now, this is the information that was put out from the USGS. I mean, 159 aftershocks just since that first one on April 5th. Now, what's an aftershock you might have? Well, a couple things about it here. It's smaller quakes that occur in the same general area during days, maybe even up to years following the main shock. So we take you back here. The magnitude on April 5th was 4.8. The one today, 2.6. And you might be saying, well, how long can it be or how long does it take to have an aftershock? Basically, the stuff needs to settle down back to normal before it's not considered an aftershock. And again, that can be days uh, to potentially uh, longer than that.